Lots of reworks put into World of Tanks in its latest update. Apex Legends appears to be going back to its roots with the Genesis Collection event. Look out for Kane and MapleStory Neo. And if you've been patiently waiting for Sword of Legends Online to launch in the West, wait not much longer. I am just on the journey. What's good everyone, James Blunt here with your weekly recap for gaming news and announcements of the week of June 25th, 2021. And starting out the news this week, Black Desert Online will be launching a brand new class soon. That's right, Pearl Abyss has revealed more info on the Corsair class, which features a unique weapon, the Composite Sword. This whip-like weapon is sure to leave her enemies reeling as attacks come from every which direction. Oh, and did I mention that she can turn into a mermaid to unleash the fury of the sea on our opponents? You can create your Corsair today and be ready to go on June 29th when the class officially launches. In addition, you can look forward to Valmalkia, the first part of BDO's first co-op dungeon, Ataraxion, coming July 21st. Several new upcoming features have been revealed, including mansions, a seasoned server, extreme monster zones, a new minigame, and much more. Guild Wars 2 players who might have missed Season 3 of their Living World story have some cause to celebrate. Each week, a new part of the saga becomes available, and they have been updated with new achievements you can tackle at any time, which will also grant progress towards some legendary rewards. Keep in mind the game's first expansion, Heart of Thorns, will be required to access the story and will contain massive spoilers for said expansion if you haven't played through it. So obviously it's highly recommend that you make your way through that story first. The first part of Living World Season 3 will be available on June 29th. Also launching on June 29th, it appears a time warp is coming to Apex Legends. As part of the game's legacy season, why not kick back to how the game started with the original Battle Royale maps? That's right, as part of the Genesis Collection event coming soon, the original King's Canyon and World's Edge maps return. Arena players, don't worry, because Skull Town is also making its way to the arena maps too. As with any good event, you can earn some great rewards through the event track, including the legendary charge rifle and EVA 8 weapon skins, not to mention 24 all-new Genesis-themed cosmetic items. Oh, and if that wasn't enough, everyone's favorite murder bot, Revenant, gets a brand new sickle to play with. In related news, a cosmic summer is in full swing in Fortnite. From now until July 5th, which happens to be my birthday actually, you can take part in this extraterrestrial celebration with all new summer themed rewards. Unlock new and returning outfits and participate in a trio of returning limited time modes. Of course, the alien invasion is also still occurring, but even they're welcome to celebrate summer in style in Fortnite. The final expansion for the Empires of the Ascended set in Legends of Runeterra launches very soon. Dubbed Rise of the Underworld, this expansion will bring three new champions to the game and a brand new keyword, Lurk. Lurk provides attack benefits to all creatures with the keyword, while a card with Lurk exists on top of your deck, giving rise to some pretty sneaky strategies to hit your opponent hard when they're least expecting it. Rise of the Underworld launches on June 30th. Update 1.13 has officially launched in World of Tanks, and they promise it's their biggest update yet. First on the table is the reworking of HE shells, which now cause damage at the point of impact and can penetrate enemy armor, screens, tracks, and wheels in addition to destructible objects. Next up are updates to vehicles and SBG mechanics. Non-SBG vehicles will have access to three features to better protect themselves from artillery, such as sound detection and field of fire indicators on the map. Artillery users will have access to three types of shells, each with different tactical uses, and loaders get access to a reworked intuition perk, allowing them to quickly change ammunition types. As always, plenty of balance changes have been made from premium tanks to the Minsk map and more. Nintendo Switch players can finally play Trove. That's right. As I hinted at last week, the voxel-based community game has officially been released on the console, perfect for if you want to play the game on the go. If you're unsure of what Trove is, it's an action-adventure and crafting game where players' imaginations are rewarded. In fact, over 5,000 player-created weapons, dungeons, and more have been added to the game since its launch. With 16 playable classes and the Bard class on the way for console players, now might be a great time to enjoy Trove wherever you are. 
Back to PC news, fans who have been eagerly waiting the launch of Sword of Legends Online won't need to wait much longer. GameForge and partners have revealed that the AAA MMORPG will launch on July 9th for Western audiences. The game takes heavy inspiration from Chinese myths and legends, drawing players into a richly detailed world full of adventure and mystery. So ready your swords and spears because July 9th is only a couple of weeks away. MapleStory Neo players, Kane has arrived. A feared and deadly bowman, it's up to players to free him from his fate as you discover his past memories for yourself. With any event comes a whole host of things to do, too. Race to level 200 as Kane to receive equipment, pets, titles, and more, with level 200 giving you the choice between two permanent outfits. As expected for such a fearsome character, Kane is definitely no slouch in combat, with arrows that act as scatter bombs, wide arcing attacks to pierce multiple enemies, and an execute style attack that will deal absolutely massive damage to his foes. Yet another two for this week on the Epic Game Store. First up we have Horizon Chase Turbo, inspired by the racing hits of the 80s and 90s. It's a blast from the past that will surely make any racing game enthusiast smile. And keeping with the retro theme, game number two is Sonic Mania. This all new game is a wonderful reimagining of the classic Sonic the Hedgehog games, full of fast paced gameplay, all new challenges and enemies, continuation of the amazing soundtracks to the acts, and of course the same 2D action the series was known for. I used to play these games on my Sega Genesis back when I was little, so it definitely hits the nostalgia button right on its head, especially since recently my son, who is four now, has started to gain some interest in gaming, particularly with Sonic the Hedgehog, so we've been playing quite a bit lately. So I'll probably get him to play Sonic Mini as well. But with that said, that's about it for all the major news and announcements for this week. Be sure to stay safe and keep your families healthy. Like always, you can find more information on the news topics linked in the description below. Feel free to discuss the news or even more news in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, Wash your hands a bunch, hit that little bell icon to get notifications, and of course, share this video. But until next time, guys, that's going to be it for me. I'm James Blonde. See you out there, gamers.